What's up, this is Method Man. I'd like to welcome you to a day of training with myself. What really got me started in the gym had insomnia real bad. I found myself waking up two, three in the morning playing video games, just wasting my time. Had this gym membership, I'm like, well, hell, I'm paying for it, I might as well use it. If I look to see what time the gym opens, it opened at 4 a.m. So at 4 a.m. I find myself in the gym, working out, two days went to three days, three days turned into five days, and I've been consistent ever since for the past two years now. My goal is to get to a point where I can take my shirt off in any setting, you know, basically be the rock, but without the tattoos and the the movie accolades. Today we are going to work on back. I'm gonna do my back workout. We're gonna start with a warm up which consists of pull-ups wide and um, then we're gonna get into some deadlifting. Yes, I'm gonna go for my max today. 455, let's see if I can do it. I like to start off the workout with a warm up. Basically I do wide grip pull-ups and close grip pull-ups, reverse. Three sets and then get into some deadlifts. Let me show you what that looked like. Some people like to start from the top. That's cheating. You have to start from the bottom. Let's get it. When I'm doing wide grips, I always squeeze my shoulder blades. That's what I'm always trying to squeeze when I do back workouts. You wanna try and pinch those shoulder blades together like that. Next exercise is deadlifts. We do about Five sets. I'm gonna try and max out today with 455. The key to doing great deadlifts is to keep your head down, try and put your ass to your ankles, as close to your ankles as possible. You wanna get grounded so you get a nice pull. Pull with the arms first, straight lift. Get that nice, ah! For our next workout, for back day, we do bent over back rows. Basically, you uh, yeah, y'all know what the fuck that is. If I gotta tell you, then you shouldn't even be in the gym. When I'm doing my bent over back rows, the first thing I want to do is pinch that those shoulder blades together as tight as possible. Each time you pull, you're pinching the shoulder blades first, so you get a great pull. Don't break your wrist. Make sure your wrist stays straight. And when you come down, you want a full stretch. Do that for 10 to 12 reps. Can't lose. All right, what we have next is uh, some seated pull downs. We're doing the whole rack. And we have lat pull downs. Um, we're supersetting this, you know, keep that blood flowing. Get a nice pump, all right? Hands like this first, so when you come down, you heal with it. When I'm doing the pull downs, same rules apply. You wanna shrug those shoulders, pinch that back muscle, the, the shoulder blades together with each pull down. For the lat pull downs, you wanna Get a full stretch and pull down as far as possible. You want your hands to come down a little past your waist. You can get that full squeeze on those lat pull downs. You do that 20 reps a piece, superset it. After that, you can write your will because you're, you're, you're close to death after that. This is the grit of the workout here. We basically do these every day. So we do, we use the um, head neck harness right here. This helps a lot with um, you know, keep your neck beefy so nobody can knock your block off, you know what I'm saying? You can stick around for a few extra rounds like this. Then we're gonna get into some ab work. But first, this thing here. What you wanna do is, when you strap yourself in, you wanna, um, same as always, you wanna pinch that back muscle back there, you know what I mean, and uh, bring your head up fully to get a good squeeze. Oh, this really sucks. 20 reps. All right, so this is the wind down here. This is the ab workout. I like to um, mix it up a bit, superset of course. Uh, we do the roller and we go into some rope crunches over here. When I'm using the roller, the thing I'm concentrating on most is trying to get as low to the ground as possible, damn near where my thighs are touching the ground. The technique you wanna use is you breathe in on the way down, exhale on the way back up. It helps a lot, trust me. And you don't wanna give yourself a headache straining. 
on the weighted crunches, which I hate, by the way. What you wanna do is engage your core, keep your core tight. You may wanna, the same way people who do martial arts, yeah, yeah, you might wanna do that to, you know, flex the, the stomach muscle. That's a little trick I'm telling you right there. So every time I pull down, it's a little, uh, uh, engage your core, keep it tight, you can't lose. All right, y'all, that was, uh, a day of training with Method Man. We did a lot of back today, a lot of good things in there. Hopefully you guys got some tips, and not just tips, but most importantly, motivation and inspiration. And my advice to you is training is commitment and lifestyle. Make sure you get some.